So, all right. Well, it's 11 a.m. So uh, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, we have uh, Stephen Pastores from Rent Spree with us, and we also have uh, his co-worker Nathan Yamamoto, and we also have some real comp uh, employees uh, in the Zoom as well, including Tammy Fight, uh, who is in charge of our uh, social media uh, marketing. So it's nice to have you here. Uh, thank you, um, Stephen is the uh, senior client success manager um, with Rent Spree. And uh, so he has a presentation that he uh, is going to take you through and we appreciate you joining us. So I'm gonna hand off to Stephen and thanks so much Stephen for uh, yeah, being willing to uh, present this information for us. Thank you, Fran. I uh, appreciate the introduction here and good morning everyone. And thank you so much for joining today's webinar. Um, as Fran mentioned, I'm a senior client success manager here at Rent Spree. I work directly with our MLS partners all across the country, uh, including Real Comp, Bright MLS, Beaches MLS in Florida, and many others as well. Uh, so we actually just celebrated our eighth anniversary here at Rent Spree. So we were founded back in 2016 here in uh, Los Angeles, California, and we've grown to serve uh, partners, brokerages. Um, really all across the country. So we're super excited to have uh, Real Comp as one of our valued MLS partnerships here. A little bit about, a little bit about Rentspree before we get started. So Rentspree is a provider of an award-winning rental software that helps connect realtors, owners, and renters to help simplify and automate the entire rental process from listing to lease. Our mission is really to help simplify the home renting process and create lasting connections between renters, agents, and landlords. And as I was mentioning, Rentspree has partnered with over 250 top MLSs and brokerages all across the nation. And we actually recently celebrated the milestone of 2 million users on our platform. So the growth has been nonstop over the last couple of years. We're first going to go through the current state of the real estate market to give you an idea of the landscape that we are facing as a nation. And we're going to start off with a stat that may seem a little bit scary, but we're going to go ahead and talk about it a little bit. Last year in 2023, 50% of realtor, realtors sold one or no houses. As you may know, the theme of last year was low inventory, high interest rates, and first-time home buyers that were really getting priced out of the market. And this uh, has affected realtors as businesses uh, quite significantly. And they have had to turn to other sources of income, for example, property management, uh, becoming a landlord themselves, and um, other side opportunities as well. This information comes from the Consumer Federation of America. And then looking at the Michigan homes for sale uh, comparison versus 23 and the current uh, homes in 2024, we can see that there is a little bit of a drop year over year. This is actually from January. So in January 2023, there are about 27,000 homes for sale. As you can see, there has been a, a, quite a little bit of a drop in January of 24 compared to last year. So there is, again, less inventory up on the market. This data comes from Redfin. However, if we look and zoom out a little bit, we can actually find that the number of rentals in Real Comp's uh, service area has actually increased over the last couple of years. As you can see, back in 21, when things were still kind of recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic, we had about 8,000 rentals in Real Comp's MLS system, and it's been steadily growing by an average of 18% every year. So last year, we actually saw about 11,000 rentals uh, within Real Comp. So there has been a lot of opportunity with working with leasing in the last couple of years because the home buying market has become extremely competitive. So for agents that are a little bit more open-minded and willing to work with rentals, there is a lot of inventory here that you can possibly work with. Now, I also wanna pause here and give you an understanding of the current renter profile here in the United States. The median age of the American renter is about 39 years old with a median household income of $41,000. This age group is known as millennials, and these were folks that were born between the years 1981 and 1996, and they're actually the largest group of renters nationwide. 
Now, the generation after is known as Generation Z. And these are folks that were born between 1996 and the mid-2000s. So those folks are actually more recent college graduates and maybe dealing with a little bit more uh, college debt from their uh, tuition. So there are a couple of other external factors at play here as well. Millennials and Generation Z are more likely to have a pet than a child and are primarily unmarried. So they're primarily single. Over half of millennials have actually reported submitting a rental application online. And we like to refer to this group as digital natives because they were really born during the advent of the internet. So these are folks that are very familiar with technology and actually prefer using tech tools rather than submitting paper applications. This information comes from iProperty Management. Now, if you're a realtor getting started, you may be wondering how to build a lasting rental and real estate business in general. And kind of there's two ways to think about it. Number one is kind of the old way of thinking where an agent would only consider buying and selling homes and kind of accepting the fate of a downward market. As you can see, last year, the stats were pretty sobering. If you were a realtor, one out of every two of you were only selling one or no houses. But the new way of thinking is that you want to consider yourself a real estate professional and be open-minded to considering all real estate transactions. This is the current time of the market where you can show a person the path to home ownership and act as a trusted resource for them. And you also can see the value in all transactions to help sustain your business during this economic recession. So the idea here is that you have a nation of renters. These renters may be renting a home for the very first time. They may be graduating from college and they have no idea how to navigate these tricky market conditions. This is your opportunity to step in and provide real value for them and be a trusted resource because that way they'll be more likely to trust you when it comes time to buy their first home. As you know, the interest rates are still very high, around six and a half to seven percent, but they may not remain this way for a while because the federal Reserve has actually stated they want to cut those rates by the end of the year. So we can imagine that by this time, by this same time next year, these renters of today may be the buyers of tomorrow. Now let's talk about how to start working with your rental leads. And the first step here is prospecting. So as a realtor, you're going to meet clients in a couple of different ways. And one of the first ways as a rental agent is through an open house or a showing. And this is your chance to demonstrate your value and understanding. So if you're going to uh, an open house with clients, you really want to become an expert in the neighborhood of the rental. You want to understand what are the schools in the area? What are the parks? What are the restaurants? What are the things to do? These are all pieces of information you can kind of build into a flyer that you can distribute to your rental applicants. The idea here is you want to take a personalized approach. Every single renter is different. Every single renter has different wants and needs, and every renter may be in a different stage of their life. This is your chance to kind of build a customized approach and to try circle prospecting. So circle prospecting is an approach where you would kind of build a network through the prospects that you already know. So for example, if you have a renter coming in to your open house, start a conversation with them. And if they're not interested, you can ask them, hey, you know, I know you're not interested, but do you have anyone else that might be interested? Or can I interest you in another, in another one of my rentals down the street, for example? So the idea here is to kind of build your network with the resources that you already have at your disposal. The final step is to make sure that as you're prospecting, you want to make sure that you're tracking every single one of your marketing activities with your clients. So if you have an email campaign, there are a couple of different software tools that you can use, like Salesforce, LionDesk, and other real estate CRMs that can help you track every single step of your marketing outreach. I did mention a drip marketing campaign. So a drip marketing campaign essentially is a schedule of marketing activities that you have in place to reach out to your clients. So here we have a 12 month campaign that is based upon a renter's stay at a property. Before they move in or after they move in, you can send them a congratulations email, which provides them a couple of key move-in resources. Uh, for example, how to set up their utilities bill, which internet options they have, what restaurants are in the area and so on. 
as they kind of get acclimated to the rental, this is your chance to provide them with market trends and statistics based on their current financial profile. So if they have a 600 credit score, this is your chance to show them ways in which they can actually improve their credit over time. And then as they progress through the lease in the months five through nine, this is your chance to dispel any current buying mix that they may have. Um, a lot of renters may see buying as kind of an unaffordable option, but there are a couple of key analyses you can provide to them that show, hey, you know, this is actually a very uh, feasible option for you if you make your rent payment on time, if you keep building your credit, you're going to be able to get a really good loan in the future. And then as they progress to the final months of their lease, this is your chance to kind of test the waters with them and see if they want to continue renting or if they're ready to take the next step and become a first time home buyer. And this is your chance to provide them with customized loan information, first time home buyer programs, as well as steps to improve uh, their credit. The idea behind this marketing campaign, again, is that it should all be tracked in your CRM. A CRM is customer relationship management. And those are tools that help you track the life cycle of every single one of the clients that you come in contact with. Now, the next strategy that I want to discuss today is connecting with your community. Um, and I did mention the idea here that millennials and Generation Z are folks that are digital natives. And this means that they are kind of very familiar with technology. And one of the main technology uh, tools that you have at your disposal is social media. Social media includes tools like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. And they all have very different use cases, but a lot of realtors have been using Facebook, for example, as a means to advertise their listings. In this screenshot here, we have a GIF of a rental property that has been listed on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is an excellent option because it lets you add photos, uh, videos. It also lets you uh, add a couple of key unit details here on the right-hand side of the screen. And it's a little bit blurry, but you can see that there is a button that says message. And that way, the renter can easily communicate with whoever is listing the property. So it really allows for easy communication between the property manager slash landlord and the applicant. And again, this is a tool that millennials and Generation Z are using every single minute of every single day. So it's a very accessible platform. Now, a lot of realtors have also been using tools like TikTok to communicate with their applicants. And TikTok is a tool that is mainly designed for short form videos. Uh, as you can see, there are a couple of examples here of an agent walking through a listing, kind of showing the windows and the uh, interior of the property. Uh, the idea here is that you wanna make sure that you're providing key details about the listing while also being personable. You know, the number one tool that agents have at their disposal is their personality. You know, are, are you an extroverted person? Do you make connections easily? And these videos are meant to be lighthearted. They're meant to be kind of more fun. They're meant to be engaging. And they can actually have the potential to go viral. You know, a lot of realtors have seen their property listings get thousands of views on the internet. So if you have the right angle, if you take the right approach, and if you make things fun and engaging, your video could get a lot of attention. So now that we've discussed a couple of ways to kind of level up your rentals, we're going to discuss how Rentspree can really help you take the next step in your rental business. So we'll go ahead and show you a QR code here on the screen. And before we talk about Rentspree, I do want to mention that this is a product that is available for free for all Realcom subscribers. It is included as part of your subscription. So you'll be able to access Rentspree on your Clarity dashboard. You're going to see a tile that says Rentspree. And then also we have partnered with Realcom to create a field in Remind and add edit, which is called Rentspree Online Application. So if you go ahead and scan this QR code, this will take you directly to our co-branded website, which you can see a screenshot here of on the screen. This is where you would go to create your Rentspree account for the first time if you haven't already done so. We'll go back to the screen, but we'll go ahead and move on to the next slide here which describes what you get today with Rentspree. So Rentspree, first and foremost, is a tenant screening platform. So you're, you're going to receive an easy to fill out rent, online rental application, which can be filled out by an applicant on both their computer and their smartphone. You'll also have access to a complete tenant screening package, which includes a credit report, 
background check and eviction report by TransUnion. And the fee for this service is $39.99 per application and the renter will pay the fee directly to RentsPree. So it's essentially free for realtors to use as part of the RealCom subscription. As I was mentioning, RealComp and RentsPree have integrated our services together in the MLS. As you can see, we have a dedicated field to RentsPree called RentsPree Online Application. And this is a very simple workflow, which really just involves clicking yes on the RentsPree field. And this basically triggers an email with a unique apply link that will be sent to you that is specific to that particular property. So if you're adding a rental into Remine, you would choose yes on RentsPree, receive an email with the application link, and you can go ahead and copy and paste that link anywhere onto the internet. So if you have applicants that are applying on social media, you can go ahead and copy and paste the apply link there as well. But you can also send it via email as well as text message. As I mentioned, the applicants will pay a $39 fee to apply. And the best part is you receive the results immediately. So once the applicant makes their payment to rent spree, you'll be able to access the reports on your dashboard and you'll also receive the results via email. The applicant will also get a copy of the screening report as well for their own use. Here's a quick little snapshot of what the applicant experience looks like on RentSpree. So once they submit their application, they'll be able to see what exactly they need to submit. And then on the agent's experience, they're gonna be able to review the application package on the agent dashboard within RentSpree. And this is all very streamlined. It's available on both mobile and desktop devices. So the idea here is that you can make your decisions for rentals quickly and efficiently. Now, RentSpree is becoming more uh, of a full-scale rental provider. And the idea here is that we want to expand our services beyond just tenant screening. And one of the newest features that we have available to you is rent payment. So RentSpree Rent Payment is a tool that's designed to help realtors and landlords build connections with each other. And landlords can easily link their bank account with RentSpree to help collect those online rent payments. One of the great benefits of rent payment is that is a solution that automates the process because renters will be notified via email every time the rent payment is due on the first of the month. And the landlord will also get an email once the rent has been deposited into their bank account. What's even better about rent payment is that we actually will report every single on-time rent payment directly to the credit bureau. So imagine if you're a realtor working with a renter that has a history of making on-time rent payments on rent spree, they may be finishing up their lease with a much better credit score than when they start. Because the idea here is that if they pay the rent on time over 12 months, their credit could well go up by about 50 to 100 points, which is going to make a huge difference when it comes time to get that mortgage application from their bank. So this is a full-scale solution that is really designed to help both build connections and also help both renters and landlords get the best out of this transaction. The fee for rent payment for renters is 3% of every transaction if they pay with a credit or debit card or $3 if they pay with their bank account. Next, RentSpree also offers marketing solutions for agents to help get their brand out there. And one of those examples is an agent profile. And an agent profile on RentSpree will help you build out your brand and will allow you to give a quick little description of yourself and your business. And it also provides you with an easy way to stay in touch with the renter via the right-hand side of the screen where you can see you can have your phone number, your email, and your brokerage address. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you also see there's an active listing section. And this details exactly what rentals are under your current portfolio, which gives the renter an easy way to apply for your current rentals. If they go ahead and click on those rentals, you can see that this opens up a unique listings page for that rental, which gives them a couple of key details about the listing, a quick little paragraph, and it also gives them an easy way to apply to the listing as well. One of the great benefits of applying through RentsFree is that with a credit report, you don't have to worry about the applicant's credit score being damaged by a couple of points because it's just a soft pull, meaning that the renter doesn't have to um, sacrifice a couple of points on their credit by applying through RentSpree. And then I mentioned that RentSpree is a fully integrated product with RealComp, which is available on the dashboard as a tile and also as an ad edit option in Remind. 
but we do have a fully robust customer operations team that is available to support you every step of the way. I'm going to leave here a couple of key ways you can reach out to our support team. The first is live chat on our website, rentsfree.com. We also have dedicated phone agents and our phone number is 323-515-7757. You can also reach out to us via email at support at rentsfree.com. And then we also have a knowledge base and a knowledge base is kind of like a rent free encyclopedia where you can access resources and materials to help you learn about every single step of our services and how to screen tenants efficiently and easily. And then before uh, we move on to the q and I also want to mention that we have extensive reviews on the major review websites like Google, Better Business Bureau, as well as Trustpad. So I encourage you not to take my word for it and to read those reviews and see exactly what our renters, agents, and landlord clients have to say about Rentspree. And with that being said, that concludes our presentation for today. So we will switch over to the Q&A. It does look like we got some exciting questions coming in. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open up the floor for those at this time. The first question came in from Daryl. So Daryl is asking for the drip campaign. Is there a preset one we are able to use according to the way you said? Uh, Rentspree does not have a drip campaign, Daryl, but we have a, a couple of examples that we can create for you. And the idea here, again, is to make it customizable. So if you are working in a specific neighborhood, you would want to make sure that you're providing details um, of a couple of restaurants, parks, schools in the area. Really make it really detailed uh, for that renter to get an understanding of what the neighborhood is like. Daryl also asked, how much does it cost for the landlord? So uh, Daryl, just a quick reminder, rents free is free for landlords and agents to use because the renter is the one paying the screening fee directly to Rentspree. And again, that fee is $39.99 and that can be paid with a credit or debit card online as well. Another great question came in about listing rentals. So when listing rentals, does Rentspree help with offering realistic monthly payments for the listing as well as the listings in the area? Um, Tanija, I hope I said your name correctly. We do offer a feature called Rent Estimate, and Rent Estimate is a page feature on Rentspree that costs $19.99 per property. And that Rent Estimate report is based on comparable properties and vacancy trends in the area. And it's going to give you a realistic understanding of what the rental pricing should be for that particular listing. So you can make that purchase once you log into your Rentspree dashboard. It's called the Rent Estimate Report. Beverly is asking, how do we get started obtaining rental listings? Great option, Beverly. So there are a couple of different uh, options you can start with. Number one, uh, a lot of landlords are using Craigslist. So Craigslist is, you know, uh, it's been around for about 10, 15 years now. And a lot of landlords, if they don't, if they're getting started, they may not know other options available, but Craigslist is a good way for you to make those connections. Um, I did talk about Facebook Marketplace, which is very popular among the younger folks like millennials and Generation Z. So you can go ahead and look through Facebook there um, and see what options you have. And then you also have a lot of landlords that are using Facebook groups. So we found that a lot of property managers and landlords have created groups on Facebook where they can kind of share tips and knowledge with each other. And that's another very easy way for you to add, add those groups and start making those connections online as well. Michelle is asking, is there a link within the website that can be shared with potential landlords so they can understand everything they receive with the service? Uh, so Michelle, I would actually point you to our support website, which is support.rentspree.com. Um, that's kind of the best way to get started with our service and it'll answer most of the questions that the landlord will have about our platform. Another great question coming in from Siegel. So Siegel is asking, other than the MLS, do you have suggestions for the best platforms for advertising rentals? Um, it's really up to you. Uh, you know, I, I know RealComp does have connections with third-party listing websites. You may want to ask RealComp about those. Uh, but Rentspree does have our listing page 
uh, feature, which you can use to kind of advertise your rentals on our platform as well. Uh, we do have our public search site, which is moveinmichigan.com. And uh, you have uh, several syndication uh, options within the MLS. Um, you'll, you would find those on our corporate website, um, but there is a syndication page where you can choose where you send those rental listings. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Fran. And a great question coming in from Caroline. So Caroline is asking, how long is the application and other reports accessible through Rentspree? Uh, so Caroline, once the applicant applies via our platform, the reports are valid for 30 days. And the reason it's 30 days is, is because credit scores do change over time. And we don't want to hold on to applicant information for longer than we need to. Uh, but we do have a feature called multi-share where the applicant can pay $15 and use that same application to apply for multiple rentals. So that way they don't have to pay the $39.99 fee every single time they apply for a separate property. And I think that answers, answers Tanisha's question um, as well about the reusable applications. Beverly is asking, does Rentspree work with large rental apartment groups? Great question. You know, I think that's kind of a case by case basis. You know, some larger apartment groups have been using Rentspree, but others use their own kind of built in house platform. They would have to reach out to the property manager on those occasions. And then Rami is asking, what would be a good credit score for renters? That's again, case-by-case -case basis on what the, the landlord really prefers, but we have seen as a baseline, 650 is kind of the recommended minimum credit score. That's all, again, very subjective, but that's kind of what the baseline, what we've been hearing from uh, property owners lately, 650 as the minimum credit score. And then for some inf more information about multi-share for Caroline's question. Um, so multi-share Caroline is an option that the renter would receive once they get the first initial request to apply. So the way that it works is that once the agent sends the applicant the link to apply for rent spree, they would go ahead and pay the first rental fee, which is $39.99. And they would also see kind of a check mark option where they can say, oh, I would like to add $15 for multi-share. So I can reuse the same tenant screening packets to apply to different rentals. So it would all be kind of like one fee paid by the renter. Thank you, Steven. And just to add to that as well, um, the, when they opt into the uh, multi-share, we also call it reusable screening package, the applicants will be able to apply uh, for five properties a day, uh, no extra cost for 30 days. Excellent. Thank you, Nathan. Again, that's super competitive. I mean, imagine a lot of renters are applying to more than one listing. So not having to pay the same screening fee each and every time to apply is going to be a huge money and time saver for them. Um, and great question from James. So James is asking, can you walk us through the process of listing a rental to the application and acceptance? Um, so James, really the best way of listing a rental is via the MLS. So every time you get a rental, you would go ahead and use Remind to input the rental into the system. And you would choose yes on the Rent Spree online application field. This would generate the application link for you. And that link is what you would go ahead and copy and paste into your brokerage website, your social media, email, QR code, whatever the case may be. And then once you start getting applications, you would go ahead and, re and review every single Rent Spree report on your dashboard and then make a decision. And Rentspree does offer a decision-making process on our dashboard. So if you see a report that comes in for a renter, you do have the option to either accept or deny that renter via Rentspree. And you'll also be given the reasoning why that applicant was chosen or denied as well. And then uh, Beverly is asking, how does this rent? How does this work for agents to make commissions? Um, so Beverly, we do ask renters if they are currently working with an agent, um, and that way the landlord can easily identify if they should be paying commission to that agent um, or not. So that is one of the questions that we do ask on the rental application.
Caroline, thanks so much for the feedback. Appreciate that. Um, excellent. So I think those are all the questions that came. Oh, one question that came in from uh, Michelle. Do you have a side-by-side -side comparison uh, with Smart Move to show the advantage of using rent spree? If you don't, that would be helpful to sell this to our landlords. So uh, Michelle, Smart Move is essentially TransUnion's own rental application service or actually tenant screening service. So it's kind of the same credit bureau at the end of the day. Um, but the advantage with Red Spree is that we do have the rental application, which Smart Move does not have. So if you want to get everything in kind of one consolidated package, Red Spree would be the easiest way to get that from each of your rental applicants. Andrea was asking, should we get in touch with new construction builders for permission to advertise these rental units? Uh, yes, Andrea. So ideally you wanna have permission from either the builder, the landlord or the property manager before you advertise those listings, um, especially if you're gonna be syndicating them to third party listing websites. And to your other question, you, you not have to be the landlord to use Rentspree. You can use Rentspree if you are an agent as well. Um, and as far as getting your leads, again, this can be in a, in a couple of different ways. If you have a property on Rent Spree as an agent and you're getting rental leads from uh, those properties, that's all going to be funneled into our CRM. You know, Rent Spree does have a rental client manager that you can use to track every single prospect that applies to our system. So that is one way. And then if you have a landlord that you're working with, that landlord may be getting applications for their listings. And that may be an easy way for you to start getting leads for your own properties as well. Because as you know, you can only work with one renter that applies or that gets chosen for a property, but you do have other renters that may be not chosen that you can kind of redirect towards other listings as well. So the idea is that every renter at the end of the day is going to be a future buyer, a future prospect. So if you go about it the right way, you can start funneling them towards the right home for their specific needs. I just want to add, uh, Andrea, if you still have questions, if you could submit them in the Q&A tab, uh, that would be great. Excellent questions, everyone, so far. Really detailed, really thorough. Um, and Todd was asking, is the price for every potential tenant 18 and over for a specific property? Uh, yes, Todd. So... The rent spree application fee is per adult over the age of 18. So if it's a husband and wife applying for the same rental property, they would each have to submit a separate application because they would each have you know different credit profiles, different backgrounds and things like that. So it'd be for each applicant over the age of 18. Valley was asking, can a renter sign up for the rent payment service if the landlord doesn't so they can improve their credit score? Um, technically, yes, Valerie, but it's really dependent on the landlord if they want to use it or not. So at the end of the day, it's really up to their um, discretion. I don't see why the landlord wouldn't use it because it's more likely that if the renter pays on time, the landlord will be more, much more happier with the service. So it, it's up to their discretion at the end of the day. Trying to see if we have any more questions coming in. I think we covered most of them here. And Stephen, uh, Andrea is asking about when you say I have a property. So you're talking about you've got um, somebody who wants to list their property as a rental. Yes. So it's. It can be a little a little bit tricky because you want you don't want to take another agent's listing. So you know again, the first step is always ask permission or kind of oh kind of take the angle of you're offering assistance, right? So for example, if you see a rental that's been on the market for a little bit longer than it should be, so for example, maybe a couple of months, that's a good opportunity for you to reach out and be like, hey, you know, I've rented a house in this neighborhood. Can I help you? You know, is is there a way for me to get some prospects for you? Um, just make it seem organic and natural. 
which will make you come across as more of a value add rather than someone that's kind of trying to cannibalize off that listing. And that kind of does answer Ola Wole's question about are you able to market other agents rental listings? So again, it's all about the approach at the end of the day. Just make sure the approach is organic. It feels natural. It doesn't feel forced. And that way you're going to come across as more of a, again, value add to them. But the, um, as far as, you know, marketing to someone, someone else's listing um, that does go against the code of ethics. Correct. And if when in doubt, you know, I would always consult with uh, an attorney on those kind of like more like legal questions. Uh, it's always better to be safe than sorry, for sure. And I think those were all the questions that came in. Um, I do want to thank everyone. You know, those were amazing questions and, and insights uh, from the audience. And I do hope the information today was useful. Um, we will be sending the recording out to everyone. So you can access it at a later, later date if you have to leave early, not to worry. Um, we do want to thank, you know, Fran and the entire RealCom team for being here for us today. We really do appreciate it. I also want to thank Nathan from Rensby for helping me answer all the questions that came in. Any questions that may come in after the fact, please email us, support at rentsby.com. And again, thank you all, everyone. And thank you, Fran and, and Tammy and the team for being so supportive of Rentsby. Well, thank you, Stephen. And thanks, everyone, for joining us. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone. Take care.